What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to the Sheep Get Sheared podcast, home of people, politics, and popular culture. I'm your host, Austin Creed, and my friends. I'd like to share something with you today. I know I've been off the air the last couple days, and I'll tell you that story later on today. But first, I want to share something with you that came to me on the plane while I was just alone with my thoughts. And I don't know about you, but when I'm on an airplane and I'm traveling, I have nothing else to do but just indulge my mind and my mind starts to wander and I start to really think and as I was thinking as I I don't know if you're anything like me if you're the same kind of weird as me you like to try to fix the world's problems in your head you like to try to come up with solutions to problems that people say are completely complex and I thought to myself what is one thing that if people started to do it could change their entire life and better yet change the world as a whole And I thought about it as I was sitting on the plane. Uh, I was listening to some rap music and country music and everything else because I'm weird and I jump around from genre to genre. And it dawned on me and I said, if people really started to think. There's this notion in the world that you're just born rich or you're born poor and that's all you can do. You know, it doesn't matter how hard you work, you just get lucky. And if you get lucky, then you'll succeed. And if you get lucky, then you'll win in life. But it requires luck. That's 100% false. In fact, I believe that to be one of the biggest and most damaging lies in the world. Because the last unexplored continent on Earth is not is not below the sun. Is not the center of the Earth. It is not another dimension. It is the human mind. Now, if you're anything like me. You learn very quickly that when something is given to you, it's not as valuable as something that you get as a result of giving something. Let me put it to you another way. Something you pay for, something that takes you a while to earn, is something you will value much more than maybe just a birthday present or something you got for free, right? If you get a free lunch, well, free, from the cafeteria at school, or high school, middle school, whatever, that's not going to be as good a meal as going to Ruth Chris Steakhouse and using your money that you just got your big bonus from to get to make that money and, and pay for that dinner. That dinner is going to taste a lot better, right? Of course it will. Why? Because you worked for it. My friends, the last unexplored continent on Earth is the human mind because it's given to us for free by God. We think that, oh, you know what? Your brain's kind of just there. You know, you use it from time to time. You might have a, a random epiphany, whatever. But you don't put it to work. You know, I live in the, the desert area right now when I go to when I'm in school. And sometimes I will see these giant aqueducts that carry the water from, you know, the non-desert, the more rainy areas to the desert to help offset the fact that more and more people are moving here and more and more people are living here. And I thought, I think to myself, how hard was it to build? To build an aqueduct like that, that carries one thing from one place to another, not in this thing being water. And I see these trucks, these big earth moving trucks that are enormous and then there's, you know, we see a little guy on top of the, the machine and he's moving the dirt to build his aqueduct. I looked into it. I thought it was interesting. And I looked and I thought to myself, my God, that is like the human mind. It could push past the biggest mountains, the biggest obstacles in the world, but yet we're sitting on top of it and we're not driving it. We're not putting our back into it. We're not directing it. We're just kind of letting it go wherever it wants to go. I was talking to my brother. I love him, but he's kind of going through a rough patch in his life. He's having a hard time figuring out what he he wants to do, what he thinks other people want him to do, going through the whole suffering of young youth phase, right? And I'm trying to help him every way that I can because I love him. And I can tell he's just not, he's not hearing it. He's listening to it, but he's not conceptualizing the concepts that I'm bringing before him. Not because I'm so much smarter than he is, 
but just that I've explored and I continue to explore this lost continent every day, using the human mind to blaze a new path instead of be part of the herd. Being, conforming to the world around you is the quickest way to die a slow death. Because if you want to be successful, if you want to be rich, you want to be famous, whatever it is that you want, why are you looking to become and act like everybody else around you and fit in? Everybody else around you is probably a loser. Why would you want to be like them? They're not using their mind. They're not having a directive purpose in their life and saying, hey, I have this goal and I'm working every day towards that goal because I want it. I want it so bad that nothing's going to get in my way. Right? Do you do that? No, I hear a lot of people making a lot of excuses being like, well, I would, but this, you know, but I want to, but that, you know, I should, but you know, whatever. I don't want excuses. Excuses will rob you of opportunities. You know, when I was younger and when I was talking to my brother, he voiced a similar concern. And this concern evolves around this idea of fearing failure as if, we need to avoid failure at all costs. Failing is the antithesis of joy. And if you fail, then you're automatically a failure. This couldn't be farther from the truth. This couldn't be more false. I'll put it in little cheesy terms, but you're going to have to indulge me. Everybody wants to win, right? Everybody wants a W in their, in their record column, right? Well, an L is half of a W if you flip it in the right direction right? You would be shocked to know how many people who have achieved massive success, admiration, followers, prestige, and power, that, but it only came out right after their biggest mistake and their biggest failure. You, you see people winning in modern culture and you think that they've always been winning or they've always had the, the skids greased for them. It's not true. There are some that might have it easier than others, but it's never easy. And most people are too afraid to explore this lost continent known as the human mind. Because familiarity breeds contempt. You're so familiar with your own head that you don't even realize you don't know anything about it. You don't know anything about the power that it contains. There are popular culture references to the power of the human mind, whether it's the power of the human soul, the power of the human psyche, uh, sometimes it's related to magic, but all these concepts come down to one simple fact, and that is the power of the human mind is unparalleled, but yet completely overlooked. We think that things are supposed to just come to us naturally, and they will, actually. If you put your mind to, if every time that you said, hey, I would do this, but then you have a butt coming after it, Forget the butt. Say, I want to do this. How can I do it? Yeah, you can't just jump over a mountain in one step. Just as Rome wasn't built in the day, the Colosseum wasn't built in the day, Caesar's palace was, a, was not built in the day. These things take time. Don't focus on making all this money or getting all this fame. And those things will come to you just the same way that when you plant a seed... Let's say you want to grow corn. Don't think about how, what you're going to do with the corn stalk once it's grown. You got to plant the seed and tend to it first. Think about how you can give to that seed, how you can protect it, nurture it, bring something from it. The earth is a lot like your mind. It doesn't care what you plant. It could be hemlock. It could be uh, tobacco, cotton, opium. It could be a cash crop or it could be a deadly poison. The earth does not care. If you work by the sweat of your brow, you will bring forth the bread. All that to say, your mind will produce what you put it through. Whether it's it produces poison or prosperity is entirely up to you. Because it doesn't care. It will produce what it is given. So if you say, lack limitations, I would, but guess what? You're going to drift and you're going to produce subpar results. Whereas if you say, I want to, for example, I want to become the number one self-improvement, personal development podcast in the world. 
in one percent, the one percent of podcasts. Now, am I there right now? No. Does that mean I'm going to stop working towards it? A hundred percent. No. That means that every day I'm working towards that goal. I might move forward in two steps in that one in one day or well, half step. It makes no difference. I am moving towards that goal because I will accept nothing less than what I want. What are you doing today? What are you working towards today? Are you working towards something or are you just BSing your time thinking that, you know, something will fall in your lap? Because, <laughs> hey, if that works for you, you know, let me know because I don't know anybody that's worked out like that. People talk about being a success. I talk about it a lot on this show. Success is the continue as continuous pursuit of a worthy goal or ideal. So if you are becoming a teacher because you want to be a teacher, you are a success. If you want to I'll be the next CEO of Amazon and you're working towards that goal, that is a, you are already a success. But if you're drifting around and you have no idea what the hell you're doing or what you what's going on in your life or what you're actually after, you just know what you don't want when it comes your way, you need to stop. You need to clear the deck and, you know, wipe the fields clean, pull the weeds and plant something of substance that you can consume and that will change your life. My friends, the last unexplored continent on earth is your mind. I recommend you go on a journey to discover it for yourself. Because you will learn so much and have everything in the world to gain. My friends, God bless you. Well, I hope I will be back here later today. God bless you. God bless your families and God bless America. I love all of you. Peace.